Nelson Darwin Park Tech. Subscribe for more videos. Okay, guys. It's me, Imad, from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about the if statement within the assembly language. First, we must know that there isn't any sort of if statement as a syntax within the assembly language. So how we can implement it? So let's get started. So this is a very simple script we have written inside the keel microvision and written in assembly language. First, you must know that we have some simple commands that will work just like the if and else. Okay, how we can do all this? First, you need to learn that our first command is org00h. This is the starting command and initialization of the program from 00h address. Then there is another command that is called as the move. Move p2, h00h. h00h simply means that it is in binary we can say that all the zeros are there as an 8 bit. The first zero represents four zeros and the second zero also represents four zeros. That is total eight zeros. So all these zeros must be sent to the eight bit port that is port number two. Move all this data to the port two. Okay then, then bake is the label. Label is used for to movement of the control. Like if we want to move the control, like uh, because all the instructions will be executed one by one. Like first this statement will be executed, then this after after it, this will be executed. Okay. Now the another statement is our set bit port. 1.0 means that pin 0 of port 1. Set bit means the bit means needs to be set that is it needs to be it needs to be 1 that is it is declared as the input like whenever we want to declare a specific pin of the microcontroller as input we need to write set b or set bit p 1.0 or 1.1 or 1.2 is according to your choice here 0 is the number of the pin and p1 is the port number that is like port 1 port 2 like this okay after it the next statement is the most important statement that acts like the if statement now what it says it says jump on bit jump on bit when bit is 1, when bit is 1, then jump on where switch and switch is the label. So, control will if it is 1 on pin 0 of port 1. Again, repeating that if there is 1 as an input, like if you feed a high voltage that is 5 volt or what's called as the 1 on pin 0 of port 1. Then what will happen this command that is jump on bit 1 or jump on bit to switch switch means control needs to be pushed to switch and the controls will directly move from this line to the switch level and then start executing this line this but what it says that move p2 comma 00h again again send all the zeros to the port 2 then a call delay a call delay is simply asynchronous call for delay function and what 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 is this delay function this delay function is for to create a time delay and nothing more so you don't need to move into the complexity of this function delay so just write it a call delay for delay of some time because 
microcontroller will execute all the instructions very fastly so you need to put this delay that s jump bake will simply move the control again to the bake okay then then okay again all the things will be executed and the next thing is jnb that jump on not bit not bit means that when there is zero on pin zero of port one then what will happen again repeating that this is pin zero of port one that is 1.0 when it is zero from outside as an input on this pin then the control is supposed to be moved towards this sec label so where is sec this label okay then all the instructions within this sec will be executed that is move p2 comma h 01 h 01 h means that first four bits of this hexadecimal zero are zero and then the last four bits the last one is one that is zero 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 one because it is zero one hexadecimal so zero is equivalent to zero 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 and one is equivalent to zero 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 one so all the bits all the bits will be moved to the p2 so after after it is done as jam bake again the control will move to the bake statement so the control will move in all these three conditions so hopefully you got this concept now we can simply run it in proteus we can see that if we want to make because we we just have like uh, on p1.0 so we can just like when 1.0 is 0 is given 0 then we can see that p2.0 is on that is if p1.0 is 0 or there is 0 on pin 0 of port 1 then there is there must be 1 on pin 0 of port 2 that is led is on so we will give it one and we can see that led is off so this is all about if statement within the assembly language so you can use it as according to your needs if you want to see that how we can write an assembly language code to the pick microcontroller then you can uh, search for other tutorials on our channel so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel